In this video, we're going to look how to simulate face swap inside the Photoshop. We can do this very easy in Stable Diffusion with Roop and other um, elemental libraries. But Adobe Firefly, its AI inside the Photoshop, give us a little bit limitation. We cannot do some that stuff, but we can have it so much fun still with <laughs> the face type of swapping. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, right here we have our very fun portrait. Okay, and what I want to do, I want to have it fun with this face. I want to use this face on some other elements. Definitely in the Photoshop we can do compositing. But here what I want to do, I want to take this portrait and first we want to do it's a mask. So I am going to take my lasso tool and I'm just going right around the very important notice I'm going kind of inside not all the way to the edge but not all the way to in so just like this around okay next what we want to do we want to have this special blending level and for this we need to use it feathering so if we go to select modify and we're going to select feather depend on the resolution of your image you can have it bigger or smaller. For this specific, I figure out about 10 pixels should work just fine. And we click OK. So right here, we have feathering, but we select inside the face. This is actually what I want to preserve. So next, what I want to do is go to Filter. Uh, sorry, Select, and we'll go to Inverse. Now, we select everything except the face inside. Let's go do next. We'll go click Generator Fill, and inside Generator Fill, we need to fill up what we wanted. So in this case, I'll put it Fat Man working out. How about that? We'll ju we'll just see how this come up. Okay, let's go ahead and click Generate. <laughs> and here, I am mad. I don't know how what. we have it, our image. If you can look, this actually. Keep it his face, but not on blending. This is what most I need. I need to blend this face and actually did surprise a very good job on that. So here's a little bit another examples. Of course, because if you play or make other descriptions, you may get better. But notice how the neck integrating. This is what I like about this um, techniques when you do it with feathering and everything, because it's a blending very well. If we look Right there, look how well it is blending the face. Or right here, it's perfect. I mean, it's a very funny. I do like how it's created. And you can definitely see very nice. So with the same face. And we can see before and after. There, of course, it's not stable diffusion type face swap because there is way more advanced because there it will change angle change a position size the process much more but it requires special group library and with adobe firefly they prevent you from doing this because they don't want people abuse that type of power uh simulating people and do all the stuff but for fun you can do it and by the way this is my photos i took photos of my friends or models with the release for model release and other things so i have a different kind of things i can do this with the photos manipulating but general try be very ethical what are you doing with face swap of course but see here is kind of very fun so let's do other things now <laughs> beside our awesome fat man so for example what if i have another pose like this and I want to put it this face over uh, let's do this first we'll go to our face okay we'll go next and I'm going just to select and remember what I says we want to select kind of a little bit inside we could select outside and in other ones I'll show you what's happening but right here we select inside again and let's go to just go select modify feathering same things as we did before okay but now I want to actually copy control or command C and paste. What we have, we have just a face. It's what we want to use it. Next, let's go take this face, our model, and we're taking this face now and put it right here with our model. Of course, it's much bigger size. You know, we don't need that size. What I want to do it is take 
opacity on a face and drop down. This is kind of techniques that I used with compositing, but it's work very well here as well. Next, we press Control or Command T. And one, what I want to do in this case, I want to be sure lips and eyes real line with same size. This is for the best portrait matching. If you want match face, right there, see the eyes is kind of, and we can even adjust angle. So like this, notice on this, if we have it, and we can put it inside and there you go. The one thing I don't want to do, I don't want, um, yet change skin because I want you to see color on skin but definitely the color of the skin will maybe come up next what we want it's a select elements that we want to actually use on this for example right here you see her hand and other things so we kind of want to work around this for that let's go select um, one and I'm going see how far around I'm going I'm going around this is area where the going modifications happen, yeah? I'm going just like around. Okay, next what I want to do, hold down Alt key, it's a minus. And then I want to go inside with a face. And see so what I'm doing, I'm cutting with a face. We can also just select otherwise, but I think this work just fine. So we selected this only inside the face, um, kind of like a rim almost going around. So next we'll go filter, uh, select modify, sorry. And we'll go to feathering. And let's set feathering maybe to five on this. Okay, next, all what we actually need to do, just press generate a fill. We don't need fill up. You can fill up if you want it, but generate a fill. Um, because we do generate a fill without words, sometimes it can go okay, sometimes it's going somewhat okay, but it's why we have this option so we can preview see like oh this is actually come up very good look at that okay let's preview okay there's our face and notice what we have it we have it our this mask it's what we're generating integration of that mask let me show you again when we get closer so right here we have it our face see that is what we create we created blending mask to this and there you go Notice how the hand put it, everything. This is what I like about this. When we create border, we can specify on this specific blending element. So, and you can blend face, hand, arm, fingers, whatever you want it. You can, similar ways, you can blend it elements together in the same. As long as you select it and a feathering, what I figure out, it's actually quite a bit important. Otherwise, sometimes it's give it a little bit harsh line for me. Okay, so this is one way to do Let's try another experiment. And right here, I'm just turning off everything. We have our original image here. And instead, what we're going to do, we'll go a step out. What if I want to preserve like hair or more neck or other things? Yes, then we can go around. But here's the things how Firefly AI work. It's analyze all image. And most important, it's we'll analyze the um, surrounding. So it's meaning if I'm going and I'm going to select red elements around like this, let's go with the neck right here. So I select this. Let's go now filter. Oh, I don't always do filter. I need select. Yes, I need select, modify, feathering. And we'll go back to our 10 pixels here and we'll go to select inverse. So at this time we have it more select than just internal face. Okay, now let's go ahead and generate a fill and we'll have it fat man working out. Okay, let's go click generate. This is will take a little bit time. Remember, different if you work before with stable diffusion, if you have it local install, it's run on your machine. With Photoshop, it's take the stuff, send out and send back in. So that is a little bit different. And right here, notice how the background, same color, keep it. So of course, if we have it smaller, it's a little smaller, but general, it's try to keep the same coloring. And there we have it, our full face, of course, before and generative art. There you go, there, he's exercising, okay? 
because sometimes how to say result may vary depending on what you're doing but like right here you can see it is cut and a little bit you see gym but behind if you get closer to the hair you will get a little bit different result okay let me show you what i mean we got too much yes but what if we're going around and we'll just select it so we can just select person and it will be much easy sometimes so let's go right here and notice we'll select person with a hair okay next what i want to do is actually select lasso hold down alt key and deselect everything that i don't want it so like right here we go up deselect here and go face like around there but hardest parts it did select for me the hair there you go so now let's go ahead same we'll do exactly same things and let's generate now so in this case it's a sharp edge it's not feathering okay but it is selected by again adobe ai and you can see what's happening oh i forget in verse look what's happening see well, we have it fun in nice face. Well, kind of. Yes. But l l let's select again. Go here. And one thing I got select inverse because we want to modify everything around. Yes. Working out. Okay. And let's go generate. With, how I say, feathering does help better how it's smoothing for the edge but experiment you can still kind of play around with this okay well it's a, it does not you know it's interesting things that they run a huge render farm there with a uh, um nvidia so they just announced nvidia and adobe they have a huge huge render the gpu farm to create this so it's kind of very cool look right here you see how it does it did not bad but right there you can notice the, again that's purple because it just pick up on a hair and try to blend in and that is what happening here so again if we're going and select oops so right here this element and now let's go select inverse and we're going to select modify feathering and let's say as example i'll put a 25 i'll put it way bigger feathering yes and we go to select modify uh why i do this okay inverse that is what i needed okay and we have it fat man no offense to fat man you know at one time i i had so much i lost my weight so workout does work so it's very good okay let, let's see what's going on here it's take little bit but we should have a better result and you can see it is removed a little bit more purple out so that way when we're feathering we're kind of smoothing it's blending a little bit better hair so with these techniques you have a much better result and notice it does put a little bit purple right here but general it's actually not bad it's like whoa i like this <laughs> it's almost like a, a different version of iron man only it is a uh, workout man maybe i don't know what we call him but right there it's very nice i like how it's work okay let me show you some other things you can do with the firefly why it's so powerful and how it's work well okay example here myself with a camera and i'm taking photos Cotswill, Cotswill, i think in england you know it's a pre-covid time it's interesting how to say so the pre-covid it's a before COVID. It will be BC time and after COVID AC time. So we can say BC AC time. Okay, so right here myself and what I'm going to do is select object. And we're going to just select this object. Let's go all down shift and select some additional like backpacks, other elements we have here. Yes. And next what we want to do it is remove it. Yes. And easiest way to do we can click generate a fill generate and ta -da, i am gone from the shot notice it's have a nice background i mean 
it is it's incredible for the composing photoshop you can take this person you can take my photo and literally remove it from original but you know you can have it even more fun with this you remember it says you can replace arm head whatever yes so we can go and replace faces so you can go like create different type where's my face right there see i can go and create different type of faces instead mine and it does work if you have it for some reason the person who says i don't want to be in a picture please remove me so you can just select head or whatever face and just generate it done deal and it's very easy to do or you can actually create even more fun right here let's go select the shoulder and as feel if notice i don't modify anything generate a feel and i can have it like uh let's go yellow bird okay let's go generate and here is the result look i have a different yellow bird there you go i like this one this is teeny tiny but it's kind of funny because man this look very good i just put it on my shoulder a bird so i can add any elements that i want it i mean ai is firefly it is amazing what it can do how it's work very well with photoshop recognize elements when you need extract or do other things and you can do even more complex like right here you see we take picture of this by the roger rabbit uh, ride at the disneyland and i don't want those people so i can just remove them and notice it did very good job even with this a lot of information like right here when it's restored I was surprised it's actually did very good and a poll look behind this guy no information there yes no information like right here almost no information I mean it's incredible what it can do in this case and this is again done without any prompt so I just select same like before I select a person says fill it for me generate your fill done deal very nice tool i do like it but i think you have it quite a bit fun if you try to do with the face so i'll try and play around see if you can find in more interesting settings for me or how we can even blend more if you find this please share let other people know let me know what you find and hopefully you find this video is interesting please please help me support this channel share likes post it respond youtube algorithm it's a little bit berserk it's like when people watch your video all the way they like when it's shared they like when interaction going on so if you do like it help me to support this channel by doing those things thank you and have a great great